the Pomodoro Technique, developed by Italian Francesco Cilillo. The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method that uses a timer to divide work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short resting breaks of 5 minutes each. During those work intervals, the user must focus solely on the task at hand, avoiding all distractions or moving on to other duties. These 25 minute blocks of time are called Pomodoro Doros, named after a tomato-shaped kitchen timer that Francesco used during his university study sessions. The whole basis of the idea is that calculated pauses or breaks during work can increase mental clarity, improve dedicated focus, and ameliorate your available working period. The success of this time management method depends mostly on your commitment to the planning and forethought of your working days. Spend time either the previous night or before the day begins to plan your project out and determine how many pomodoros you'll assign to each part of the working task. If any particular task is longer than five to seven pomodoros, it means that it is too complex and should be broken down further. If a task is less than one pomodoro, like call Mike and invite him to dinner, then combine tasks until they equal at least one pomodoro. But don't use your working time to do this. Plan during your breaks or in the periods before work. Work. Once the 25 minute time interval begins, it should be tackled with an undivided attention. After four total Pomodoros, also known as a set, the worker must take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes and then start the process all over again. During your breaks, let your mind wander, relax, massage your head, massage your body, stretch, go for a quick walk, get the blood flow pumping. Stopping early, especially when you want to keep going, lets your brain catch chemistry revert to its baseline quicker. This means less push is needed to get going again the next time, and more attention is available during your consecutive working periods. Long breaks are good. Depending on how tired you are, this can range from 15 to 30 minutes, but anything over 30 minutes kills momentum and signals your body to start its resting. To get started with the Pomodoro Technique, choose a task on your to-do list. So disclaimer, the most important and hardest ones will go first in the morning for when you have the most energy to complete it, and then break it down into the available Pomodoros you have for the day. So if Mike has to write a blog post, but only has four and a half hours to do so, he might break up the day like this. Four and a half hours equals two sets of Pomodoros, including breaks, two Pomodoros for research and discovery, two Pomodoros for a written rough draft, one Pomodoro for editing, one Pomodoro for polishing, one Pomodoro for publishing, and one Pomodoro for marketing. This equals eight Pomodoros total or roughly four and a half hours of available working time. You want to be observant and record how many Pomodoros it takes to complete each task so that you can adjust your expectations and better your predictions and judgments for the next time. It's not important to track when the task started, but how many Pomodoros it took to complete it. This way, you can go back and judge if a work activity took too long and if so, look for ways to improve it, either by better parting out the process or by lowering the quality of the work. In the end, you'll want to figure out how many Pomodoros you have available in any given day and then work around that number to accurately predict and plan your work activities. Sometimes the urgency of a task loses its importance over time, so splitting up work into Pomodoro time blocks will make you only handle the most important tasks on its own at a predetermined time. And by the next Pomodoro, an old task on your to-do list might not seem as important as it was before and therefore it can be deleted, thus freeing up your stuff to do and freeing up your work schedule. If you finish a task in time before the Pomodoro is up, use the rest of the remaining time to polish up the completed work or replan the strategy for the next Pomodoro. Pomodoro time should be 100% work and without distraction, so use the off time to make Make sure that it can be fully uninterrupted with undistracted thoughts. Stay tuned for the next video for the benefits of the Pomodoro Technique, what it can be used for, and some real world examples and common questions and their answers from the author himself.